Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We are doing okay, I think. We have quite a bit of money. We have a lot of science coming in. Uh, I don't know for how long we'll have that from the missions, but we'll see. We have three missions being planned. We have the endurance test to uh, Venus. We have the Mars flyby, which will be done in a month, and we have the Mars orbit, which will be, well, the payload will be done in a month, and we have the Mars orbit uh, rocket being done in four months. So we are researching the payload for the Mars lander, which is good. And we also have a request to be a astronaut. So we're going to rename someone, and I think it's going to be Legrand here, because he's a scientist. And I think scientists are what we use the most. Uh, let's see, he retires in 83, we're in 71, so he has quite a while to go. Let's rename him, and his name will now be Jadius Tibidus. And... Uh, I hope I'm not butchering your name here, Jadius. Uh, if I am, I apologize. But you are now in the game. You are in the game. All right, let's continue on next month. So Mars flyby payload is complete. We have minus 10% launch reliability. And the vehicle upper stage gains three experience levels, but we don't really care about that, I think, because we'll just be using this one, which is already maxed out, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's have a look at upgrades. We could do composite casing. Uh, minus 10% vehicle build cost. Let's do that. And I think we're ready to go. Uh, let's just see... We have the Agena that could go instead. Why don't we do that? Because it's cheaper. And it's basically the same reliability. Then we have the Athena. But then our booster isn't good enough. So let's use the Agena. It's only level 3, so it'll max out. All right, 952,000, five months. Uh, with this, it would be more expensive and take six months. So let's do this one and build the vehicle. And let's continue on to the next month. EVA astronaut interviewed. Uh, several newspapers have run stories on your recent space welding mission detailing the spacewalks performed by your crew. In one article, astronaut Rolf Rossi described using a handheld maneuvering unit, or SIP gun, to navigate around the spacecraft. Soon enough, I was performing rolls and going as far out as the tether would take me, the astronaut communism commented. I was laughing so much I couldn't hear mission control warning me to conserve the unit's gas. Gained 200 support. Nice. And we are almost there for the next level of support, which would be nice next month. And endurance test payload is complete. Uh, minus 50% supplementary build cost. Okay. I don't think we need to do any supplementary stuff because we can just reuse this design and we can actually... switch over to the Gina again save some money and some time so let's do that and then we can I don't really want to do that and I don't really want to do that I don't want to reduce the payload reliability that's for sure because it's unreliable enough as it is and I don't want to extend the build time, so we'll just do it ourselves, but we will do an upgrade. Uh, horizontal integration, minus one month vehicle build time. Hmm. Or composite casing, minus 10% vehicle build cost. Now... 
We saved more than a hundred, two hundred thousand using the composite casing. So that's what we're going to do. Build that. Five months. And next we have the tot complete. Vesta research complete. An advanced lander designed to explore Mars, capable of returning photographs and scientific readings. All right. And the Mars orbit vehicle is complete. The Tot. And Tot is actually an uh, Egyptian god. He was the healer um, when Horus lost his eye in a battle. Tot poured milk into it and grew it back. So, Horus being one of the most important, if not the most important, Egyptian gods. He was the son of Isis. Alright, let's do launch preparations. Whoa, that doesn't look good. Wow. Okay, there are no optimal launch windows, so we might as well go as soon as possible. Which is here. Invalid, 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 suboptimal. So I guess we're going here. Uh, but that does mean that we might want to do this instead, because we were down to 61. So yeah, get that back up to 79. I think we'll do that, though. The science would be nice, but if we don't get into the air, there won't be any science at all. So let's do that. Four months. And that does mean that we would be first to this. Ah, second. China already did it. Bastards. All right, second. I suppose I can live with that. All right, we need a new research, and I am actually thinking. That we go for the PR building or for the robotics research lab. You know what? I'll go for the robotics research lab. Because minus 20% on the mission research tree is nice. All right, next month. Nothing interesting happened. Let's go again next month. All right, launch preparations for the Mars flyby. Uh, Suboptimal launch windows become optimal launch windows. That's nice. So that means that we're going in January. Could go in April to get the 25%. But I really want the mission slot. You know what? Let's go in March. 20%. Alright. Four months until that goes. We're launching the Mars orbit in two months. We won't make it. We'll just not make it. That kind of sucks. Up to the next support level. But it is what it is. Okay, budget review. No, we will not get to the next level. So close, man. So close. 239 away. That sucks. Alright, endurance test vehicle complete. Maximum mission training bonus increased by 100%. Mm -hmm. And we are launching our Mars orbit mission before the flyby. Because the flyby kind of blew up. All right, we have bad conditions. I think we're going to reschedule this. 
Yeah, let's reschedule it. And we'll go next month instead. We have the endurance test that we need to prep the launch. Jesus. Are you kidding me? April? Next year. Oh, man. Let's try doing this instead. And then we can go... Maybe in July? Plus... Suboptimal, suboptimal, suboptimal. Then we get invalid for quite a while. So I think we're going in April. 70%. Yeah. All right. Launching Mars orbit next month. Okay, 79% launch reliability, 80% payload reliability. Weather is looking decent, good conditions, only 4% risk of going kaboom. Let's do it. Come on, baby. You can do it. I know you can. I know you can do it. Come on. Looking good so far. Get up there. Go, 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 little baby. Oh, yeah. We're out of here. All right, good. Uh, but we do get a minus one power for the duration of mission. That kind of sucks. But I guess it is what it is. The Agena goes up to level four. Okay, what do we need here? What do we need? 12 nav and eight thrust. Or the bonus. Okay. Well. We can do this. We need two. We need. Let's see. We need four data and two comms. Okay. I think I want to do this. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Signal attenuation test. Good. Manual thrust adjustment. Good. And boost transmission is good as well. Nice. All right. So that means that we can do this once more. And then we can do this twice. That gets us there on the data and the comms. And we can even use a comms to get this. Or I'll use three comms to get this again, which will take us to seven nav. We need to be at nine. I can use two power to get three. All right, I think we're well on our way to a successful mission here, including our 50% bonus. Uh, we need that data. Okay, so we can do this, then we can do this. 
that basically gets us where we need to be to do the two thrusts here on the next one. Actually, exactly because I was wrong. We don't need to be at nine because we only need to do this twice. So this is perfect. This is right on the money. All right, manual thrust adjustment went well. Doppler tracking went well. Very good. Then we can just do the calculated thrust, thrust to burn twice, and that takes us there for the reward. So we can even do a recharge for the last action. Perfect. Uh, let's resist that, because we need that. And accept. And there we go, 50% bonus reward. Nice. Alright, I get a little bit of science for four months and some more support. Not quite enough to take us up to the next level, but almost. But we're launching the Mars flyby next month, so and the endurance test in two months, so it shouldn't be a big problem. Getting up to the next support level. Alright, 73% launch reliability, 70% payload reliability for our Mars flyby, good conditions, 5% risk of boom, okay, let's do this, looking good, Mars flyby, looking good, this is the second time we launched this rocket, all right, very nice, and Ooh, nice. Plus one data on first mission in task. Or first, first task in mission, it says. All right, and that maxes out our Agena. Very nice. Okay, what do we need? We need 10 nav, 10 thrust. For our bonus. Okay, shouldn't be a problem. Hmm. Let's see, this one is the most cost effective, but doing that won't allow me to do anything but the thrust thing, and I don't want to do the thrust thing. We need to do three thrusts on the last turn, so we need to have six comms to do that, and we need to be at seven nav. All right. So what we can do is this. It gives us two comms, five data. Then we can do this twice. Yeah. All right, I feel good about this. I don't feel so good about that. Resist that. Accept that, and accept that. 30% chance of failing, that's not good. All right, so now we can do this twice. That gives us the comms that we need. Then we can actually do that. Then we can do this twice again. Yeah. All right. Damn it. All right. Uh, I'll cost an additional one. I don't think I care about that. I don't think I care about that. Okay, all good. And all good. Okay, so we have five. So we don't, we're not quite there, but we have four of these. So we can do this twice. 
And that actually takes us where we want to be. So we can do a recharge. And then we can do three of these next turn. Yeah. Please succeed. Thank you. Accept that. And success again. Nice. And then we can just do three of these. And we're there. 50% bonus reward achieved. And we can resist three times, so this is a guarantee. Nice. And we didn't even need to resist. Nice. Very good. Very good indeed. Okay. 194 signs for eight months and some more support, which takes us above the next threshold. So that's good. All right. So we have eight months until the Mars flyby. And three months until the next phase of the orbit. And then we have one month until the endurance test. We are more than halfway there to the robotics research lab. Very good. So this is the endurance test where we have an incredibly unstable payload. And not the best launch reliability either. And it's raining. We're going to go anyway. Only 8%. Risk of failure, I say. Cross your fingers, guys. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, looking good so far. Going straight up. That's a good sign. Looking good. Looking good. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Thank you. Wonderful. And where are we? Oh, nice. Secure launch. Very nice. And these are already maxed. So, endurance test. Alright, so we need 6 nav and 12 thrust. We get 3... We'll get 3 nav on the last one, so we... In reality, we just need three nav. Okay. So what we'll do is, and we need six comms. We'll do this. We'll do this. And we'll do this. So that gives us six data, and that's it. But our drift is right on the money. Look at that. 55% chance of failing, man. We are going to be resisting a lot. Man, this sucks. We're going to have to... Let's do this. Then we effectively just need to do this once next turn, which we can. And we can even afford not to get a nav. We can afford to lose navs. One nav. Actually, we can afford to lose three navs in total because we'll get three navs here. So let's confirm this. All right. Let's resist. Ooh. Oh, so close. I shouldn't have resisted that without looking. That was stupid of me. Uh, all right. So we need to do this. That takes us where we need to be. Then we can recharge twice. And then next time we'll do the controlled burns. Nice. Uh, 
And we have three power to resist, so this is all good. We win. Resist. Let's see, do we even need to resist? Uh, this command will cost an additional one comm, so yes, we do need to resist. Because we need that comm for the last turn here. And here will be reduced by one. We don't care about that, so we can just accept that, even though we could resist. All right. So that's another 300 science for three months and another 150 support. Okay. So two months until the Mars orbit next phase and next month we get the robotics lab robotics lab research complete and next mission phase for the mars orbit okay so here we want to build this of course and where do we get some nice bonuses we get a bonus here plus three percent reward plus two percent reward Plus 2% reward. Minus 2% vehicle build cost. Minus 3% payload build cost. I think we'll go here. Or actually... We'll go here. Yeah. It was expensive to build, but well worth it. We have the money. All right. Uh, oh, and how long does it take to build? Uh, one year. Jesus. Okay. Um, let's take a look at research first. So I really do want to do the space station. No one has the science for it. But I do want to get uh, get the visitor center as well. Plus 10% total rewards from successful request missions. That's actually quite nice. The tier 2 astronaut tenants would be nice as well. And I also want the extra mission control. So you know what? We'll do the PR office. It's cheap too. Then the visitor center. All right, let's do the Mars orbit. Continue mission. Okay, execute tra trajectory correction. Okay, we need comms, nav, and thrust. Eight, eight, and six. So we need to do this twice on the last turn. So that means that we need to be at 10 comms on the last turn. And four data. So if we do the Doppler tracking and then the packet transfer, that gives us four and two. And then I think we'll recharge power. Yeah. Actually, no, we don't need to recharge power yet, right? So we could do the Doppler tracking again, or we could do the manual thrust adjustment. Hmm. And that's a three for five exchange. It's not the greatest. No, I think we'll do the Doppler tracking again. That's a pretty good first turn. It's power heavy, but it is what it is. We will resist this.
Okay. That was a decent first turn. And I think we'll do this. That gives us the data that we need. Then we'll do this and then we'll recharge. Okay. Good. All good. Okay, we have two turns remaining. We need five nav and we need two comms. So if we do this, then we can do this. That gives us the comms we need and the data that we need. Then we just need two more nav which we can get on the last turn if we recharge here. Actually, we don't need two nav because we'll get the two nav here. So this is fine, and then we can even recharge once on the last turn. This is perfect. All right. Ooh, just... All right, so we do that twice. That takes us to eight and eight and eight, which gives us our 50% bonus reward, and we can even do a recharge even though we don't need to. Fantastic. Ooh, and we get ooh, 100 percenter uh, an additional one thrust. Not that we really need it. And will this take a thrust away? Then we can just accept it. This command's output will be reduced by one thrust. Uh, yeah, fine. Accept that. That's okay. We still get the eight. Nice! That's phase two done. Two hundred and one for five months and one hundred and fifty support. Then we're just need phase three. So our flyby and our orbit will complete on the same in the same month. And our endurance test is ready for its next phase next month. Very nice. Next mission phase ready. All right. Uh, so Soviet Union is launching Mars orbit in six months. United Space Nerds completed uh, Mars orbit phase two. Japan is launching Mars orbit next month. Uh, China completed crewed moon landing second. Wow. They are way behind. Everyone is way, way behind. I mean, NASA and Japan haven't even researched it yet. Wow. We must be doing pretty good. Let's continue the mission, the endurance test. All right. All right what do we need? We have heat to contend with, and we need a bit of everything. Three, six, three comms, six data, and seven nav. Okay, and we get plus two heat every turn. Hmm. Okay, if we do this, then we can do this twice. That takes our heat down to zero. We get some comms, we get some nav. Confirm. Ooh, this is the very unstable one. Uh, we will resist that. Damn it. Um, I think I'm gonna accept that. Ooh, an extra one, so that evens it out. Okay. Now. 
if we do this once, then we can do this. Twice. Yeah. Then we can use some power to do that. And get... Uh, I think this is good. It all depends on how much we fail, and we will fail quite a bit. Hmm... I am going to resist this, even though it's expensive and power for one data. Nice. We get an extra nav. Not bad. Ooh. And another extra nav. Very nice. Our heat is up to three now. But what I'm going to do... Is this. And then this so we have enough comms we have enough nav we almost have enough data so really we just need to do this once next turn all right crap what will we lose we lose one nav i can live with that Except. Okay, and that'll take our heat up to four. Now we just need to do this and we get our 50% bonus reward. So that's perfect, and there's no heat check or anything this time. And we will be able to resist. So, perfect. And we don't even need to resist. Wonderful! All right, that's the endurance test complete. 720 science for six months and 600 support. And we get a bit of experience as well. Very nice. So where are we on the Mars readiness? We are at 4%. Uh, China is at five. All right, so it seems like we're in a race with China at the moment. Uh, the U.S. have unlocked it. Uh, Soviet Union and Japan haven't even locked it yet. Unlocked it yet. That's pretty crazy. But now we do have a mission slot, and we do have a Mars lander mission that we want to do. So let's plan that mission. We're definitely going to give it extra power, even though it bumps up the price a bit by, well, 226,000. I can live with that. We'll make that back in a month. So yeah, we're definitely doing that. Let's begin our Mars lander mission. Cool. What do we have here? Spacewalk, onboard cameras. No support penalty for failing the mission, nice. Space welding, reinforced tank walls, life support test, ionospheric measurements, and Earth topography, together with the Japs. The Japanese. Alright, well, we're not doing any of those right now, because we are going to Mars. Mars, Mars, Mars. Very cool. But that is all that we have time for on this one, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.